Hello, nerdlings! Up, nerdlings! Do you nerd? Do you play retro games? And are you retro AF? What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers, and you are watching Do You Nerd? That's right, it is Video Games Monthly time, so we're gonna get into this and see what we got in this February, the month of love. Yes, Video Games Monthly, the monthly subscription service. You pick a tier, you pick which consoles and handhelds you want, you populate a list of the games you already have and they send it out to you. It's just that easy. Easy peasy, Japanesey. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. We're not allowed to say that anymore. It's lemon squeezy now. Yeah, but I'm... I think it's fine if he's Japanesey. Now, for the month of love, how about a poem? Nintendo is red, Sega is blue. Your boy Floyd sends retro to you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. All right, you know what? Since this is February, how about we take this on together. So what we will do is she will give me a hint about something on the label for me to try to guess the name of the game. I will tell her the name of the game and she will tell me what's on the label. We got a one-up VGM card. Oh, the cleaning cards. Ooh, And I noticed that this is the, uh, the, the cleaning pad. It's the thinner pad to where you can actually get it into more of those cartridges. I think the Nintendo 64 is one of the tricky ones to try to get in there. So mm. it's got Floyd on it. I'll tell you what, as far as uh, freebies go, that's that's a pretty good one. Functional. The card, business card reminding you to populate that list and to share it on social media. Maybe win some freebies. Here's a one up card. A one up. Oh, well, I mean, you a know, one up, one up, one up card. It's it's a it's a <laughs> one up card, but it's not a card of one up. It's just the card for one up cards. Right. You got it. And hey, we got a one-up card. <laughs> so here's the one-up card, not to be confused with the one-up card or the card for the one-up card. You got that? <laughs> all right. Well, even though you've been grabbing all that stuff, ladies first with the game. Okay, don't look. Okay. Oh, Kidoki. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> well, we were just there last year in January. Mexico. Well, what was the territory? What kind of... Mayan? Team? Yes. Yes, there you go. And they fell down. <laughs> they fall oh, down? They fall My down. Mayans fall down? Yeah. Mayan falls? You, they fell down, like into a cenote. Like, what is that? A sinkhole? Well, what Waterfall? Else? Kinda. Vines? Like, what do you do? You like, you're running along, and you're like, I don't know. Like a pitfall? Yes. So, pitfall the Mayan adventure? Yes. <laughs> we got there. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, I feel like we don't get Super Nintendo no. games uh -uh. as frequently as we should. So uh, I had no idea there was a Mayan so, Adventure oh, Pitfall. That's a, that's a pretty nice label on there, too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. From Activision. You know, I'm not all that familiar with this one, but there was one I want to say on PS1. It was a Pitfall game. And Pitfall Harry was voiced by Bruce Campbell. Nice. She started gabbing on about this pure energy stuff called Lucent's that comes in two flavors. The blue stuff's good, and nice. the red's no cherry. Very nice. I, I just like getting Super Nintendo games. I like uh, the mine. What are we gonna give? Oh, okay, okay. This this is this is good after Super Nintendo. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh oh. <laughs> Should be pretty easy for you to guess something on the label when it is King Salmon, the big catch. There's a, there's a to a trout on there. You got it <laughs> right there. Look at that. No, there's a salmon on the front. <laughs> there is a salmon. I like salmon. He looks delicious. He does look delicious. Check this out. All pink skin. 
I could feel from the heft nice. of the case that that manual was in there. And it has the tab on top. It does. This is it's a, always a debate. A is it complete with or complete. without the tab? Now, Captain Algebra, let us know. Hey, nerdlings. Captain Algebra here. And Tom and Lacey have asked me what I think about complete and box Genesis games and if they need the hang tab. Quite frankly, it's simple to me. Box, manual, game. It's all you need. Unless the game was something extra like a poster or a strategy guide. Uh, hang tab's not important. It adds nothing to your gaming experience. Um, so it does not have to have the hang tab to be complete in my opinion. I think what the hang tab does uh, affect though is the condition of the game, right? The condition of the box. So I think if it's a missing the hang tab, it should be a little bit cheaper. It shouldn't be like full priced mint condition game because it is missing the hang tab. But in order for it to be complete, it doesn't need it. You know who loves their fishing games? Tony, back in the day gamer. But I know he's more of a Nintendo guy, so I wonder if he has ever tried out King Salmon on Sega Genesis. What's happening to YouTube? Back in the day gamer here. You know who likes fishing games? Not Tom and Lacey. No, this guy. So I figured I would come to you from the highest point in Michigan to talk about a fishing game. Because that's not appropriate at all, right? But it's happening. So, King Salmon on the Sega Genesis. Do you like this game? No, you don't. But I do. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But here we are. It came in the VGM box, so we gotta, gotta have some content for it, right? As you can see, the graphics aren't terrible. The controls are... It's fishing game on the Sega Genesis, right? It has this weird mechanic where sometimes the fish runs and you have to choose a, the correct scenario. But sometimes that scenario is the right one and sometimes for some reason it's not. It's not consistent. And that's the, the fault I find with this game. Other than it being a fishing game on the Sega Genesis. What do you think? It's a fishing game on the Sega Genesis and we're keeping it retro. I have tried King Salmon and it does taste delicious. <laughs> I do. Better than that peasant salmon. <laughs> All right, back to you. Now this works out perfectly. We subscribe to the three game box. We got that one up, so it should be two and two here. Okay, so this goes along with fishing. What do you fish with? A pole. What catches the fish? The net. No. The hook. <laughs> what goes on the hook? Bait. What kind of bait? Worms. There you go. <laughs> that feels weird, but I'll allow it. And they're blowing things up. Worms Armageddon. Worms Blast Core. Worms just, Blasting Zone. Just blast. Worms Blast. Just blast. 3D. And it's worms, HD. not worms. <laughs> 4K. <laughs> Ooh, thank you guys. Another GameCube game. Hey, Retro Wolf, did you get this one back in the collection yet? If not, and we have it. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Manual. They must have been listening last time because this is an actual Nintendo GameCube case. You know, uh, the proper size you for the disc. them last time. <laughs> the memory card holder. <laughs> I have played some of the Worms games throughout the years. Uh, there was one I used to play on PC. There's a fairly decent one on PS1. Again, talking about the PS1. And I thought there was one on Super Nintendo I may have played, but I've not done the GameCube one. This looks very interesting. It looks very cartoony. Yeah, it does. But with how the worms are from their games, I feel like that's going to be perfect for it them. It makes me think of the um, Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, he, I could, I could see that. And, and Earthworm and Jim too. Two player simultaneous oh, nice. so we got worms oh that's what we're gonna call it <gasps> gift for you <laughs> all right what is it well I'm a little ashamed on this Valentine's Day to be giving you something so small, sorry. That's all right, the best thing comes in small packages. Well, you're never going to guess what's on this label. 
Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Luke and Leia? Nope. Just a black label with writing on it? <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> wow. You even went as far as saying a black label <laughs> with writing on it. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. On Lego. Oh, really? On Game Boy That's Advance. weird. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. <laughs> that is kind of strange. Once again, we've got a lot of Nintendo love. No problem there. And just a pinch of that Sega love. So we got Mayans, Worms, Fish, and Lego. All right, MacGyver. What can you do with that? Ah! Well, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below if you've played any of these, if you've gone fishing, and uh, you can share those fish stories right there. We swear that you definitely caught one this big. Or share your fishing recipes. If you've played Pitfall the Mayan Adventure on the Super Nintendo, if you've tried LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy on Game Boy Advance, or if you've played this version of Worms, regardless of which version you've played, which do you think is the best version? What's the best Worms you've ever had? And is what, what is I'm the asking. best remedy to get rid of them? And your recipe for Worms to go with the salmon. No. All right, nerdlings, well, please give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell if you would be so kind. And this month of love, please, Listen to Lady Lacey as she reminds you to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got some pretty cool merchandise over there. And hit us up on the Retro Refresh because we would love to see you on there. And if we like it, we nerd it. And love it. We do. Hearts. Hearts. Here, give, give me a heart. How, how do you do? Just like that. Yeah, okay. I learned a thing. We're young. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. I was halfway through that and I was like, is that even what my shirt says? <laughs> Did you even put on the AF shirt? <laughs> I'm hard rock. It scratched my burn and it hurt to hurt. <laughs>